Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Logical Journey of the Zumbinis. Today, we're going to the hardest difficulty on Hotel Dementia to show you a very simple algorithm that will let you get the proper solution every single time with minimal uh, <laughs> wrong guesses. This one's actually very, very simple, much like the second difficulty. Hello! Guess what? We're going on tour. But thanks to you and your cousins, this place has grown. You are too much. Mwah! Can't drop down right now, but have fun. It's better than having none. So this uh, algorithm actually works almost identically to the oh so hard algorithm. It all goes, centers around finding out which traits determine who, who, which zoominis can room together, as well as who can room in the same row, same column, and same tree trunk. So. Much like the oh so hard solution, the first thing you want to do, find two zoominis with free traits in common. This lady and this lady have free traits in common. Put them in the upper left corner. See if they can room together. They can! Okay, so we know that it's same hair, same nose, and same feet can room together. That actually is really helpful, so eyes don't matter. So you've got the same nose, but you've got different eyes and you've got different feet. So that's interesting. You've got the same hair and the same feet, but different colored nose. You will work well. So try to put her in the next room. Okay. So different colored noses can room in different columns. That's good. That's good. Now, let's see. Different hairdos. So you've got pink shoes and you've got a blue nose. So you've got two traits in common with her, but you've got different hair. So we know different color nose determines the column. Let's see if different uh, hairstyle determines the row. It does. All right. I can't believe it. We have had zero errors. This might... I think this is going to be a perfect run, actually, which is astounding. Astounding. That does not happen, usually. All right. So we figured it out for trial and error. Zoominis with the same hair, same nose, and same feet can room together. Zoominis with the same feet can be in the same row. Zumbinis with the same nose can be in the same column. And then zoom... No, I got that wrong. Zumbinis with the same hair can be in the same row. Zumbinis with the same nose can be in the same column. And then zumbinis with the same feet can be in the same tree trunk. So we have no more zumbinis of pink shoes. So no more zumbinis are going into that tree trunk. So let's try you. You've got roller skates, so you'll have to do a new tree trunk. You're a ponytail, so you will be in the second row. And you're a green nose, so we'll need a new column. You have a green nose, you have roller skates, you have a different type of hair. You're going down there. You have a green nose, you have a bicycle, so you'll need the next tree trunk, and you are bald. So third column, new tree trunk, and the next row, because we have no rows for bald-headed zoominis. You have a blue nose and roller skates. Roller skates say you go in this column, or you go in this tree trunk. Blue nose says you go in this second column, and spiky hair determines you will go in the third row. You have a blue nose and a propeller. The propeller means we need a new tree trunk. You will be in the second column, and you have a bowl cut. We have no rows for bowl cut, so you will go down there. Alrighty. You have a propeller. You have green hat hair, so you go in the first row, and you have a purple nose. We need a new column for purple noses. Once again, three things in common. You can room with her. <laughs> Even though we have 125 rooms to choose from, you have to room with her. Alright, purple nose, you've got a spring, we need a new column. So purple nose, you go in the fourth column, and fourth row. You have a bicycle, you are a bull cut, so you go in the last row, and we need a new column. No, first column. First column is red noses. Propeller, you go in this tree trunk, red nose, you go in the first column. Ponytail hair, you go in the second row. You have roller skates, so you go in the second tree trunk. You have a ponytail, so you go in the second row. And you've got an orange nose, that means you have to go in the last column. Then finally, propeller, fourth tree trunk, bull cut, final row, and then orange nose, final column. And yes, that was a perfect run of Hotel Dementia on the hardest difficulty. I cannot believe that, that we did that. That, I don't think, is a first for me. So let's do that again to show the uh, algorithm once more so you guys understand it, and also to show what usually happens. Alright, so find two zoom menus with free traits in common. You and you. We'll put you in the upper left corner. We'll try to room you together. Okay, that is what usually happens. So hair is important to the solution. We'll try to put her right next to him. Okay. 
So you have to have the same hair in order to be in the same column. That's important. Let's try to room them together. Okay, once again, eyes don't matter. It's same hair, nose, and feet can room together. Very nice. So here's a thought. So you've got green hat hair, so you go in this second column, but you and you've got a sprain. Let's see if nose determines the row. Alright. Let's see if nose determines the tree trunk. Nose determines the tree trunk, so all blue noses go in this tree trunk, all orange noses will go in this tree trunk. So, and it looks like all sprains will go in this first row, because we know that, essentially we know that hair determines column, based on these uh, zoom beanies we put at the beginning. And we tried putting her below, so that means that nose did not determine the nose did not determine the row it goes in. So nose actually determines the tree trunk, which means by process of elimination, because we know the free traits that they have to have in common to room together. That means spring determines row, and then nose determines tree trunk, and then hair determines column. All right, you are a spring. You'll go in the first row. You are an Orange nose, you go in this second uh, tree trunk, and then you have to get a new column because you got a new type of hair. <laughs> All right, spring, purple nose, new column, and new hairstyle. You go exactly there, just in a new tree trunk. <laughs> and then we've got a red nosed lady. We will deal with you later. All right. Let's get all the blue noses out of the way. So you have a blue nose, so you go in this first. Uh, Tree trunk, you have a ponytail hair, so you go in this third column. You have a new type of feet, so we have to put you in the next row down. You go in the same place, just one row down, because you got a new type of feet. Alright, orange nose lady, this tree trunk, this column because of the green hat hair, and we need a new row for bicycles. Second tree trunk, uh, third row, and then new column. Cool. So at this point, we have determined absolutely everything in terms of where traits go. So blue noses go in the first tree trunk, orange noses go in the second tree trunk, purple in the third, green in the fourth, and then by process of elimination, red in the fifth. We know sprains go in the first row, roller skates in the second, pink shoes in the third, bicycles in the fourth, and by process of elimination, propellers in the fifth. We don't have any propellers, so we won't have to worry about that. Then we know bald heads go in the first column, green hat hairs go in the second, ponytails in the third, Bowl cuts in the fourth, spiky hair in the fifth. <laughs> so just using those rules, we can determine exactly where the Zobidis need to go. Orange nose, pink shoes, spiky hair. You room with him. No more purple noses. You, roar skates, green nose, bowl cut. Pink shoes, bowl cut, green nose. Pink shoes, green hat hair, green nose. Nope, you go there. No. You go there. All right, red nose, final tree trunk, ponytail hair, third column, roller skates, second row. That too is almost a perfect run. That is how the algorithm usually goes. You make a few mistakes at the beginning to determine what traits determine where they go, and then you just plug and chug basically the rest of the way. Very simple algorithm for a pretty complex level, which I really, really like. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going to Mudball Wall, most likely. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.